Firstly, there are two types you need to know, public and private. A public variable or method means that any class can access it. It's useful when your entire application needs to use that variable or method. A private variable or method is enclosed so that only certain methods can access it. The only way we can access a private variable or method is within the class that defines them in the first place. We will be looking at methods which you saw earlier in more detail. We looked at public string explosion return boom. And now we will look at it in more detail. So as you can see this is a public method which is something we looked at earlier. The next word is string. This means that whatever we return from this function will be in the form of a string. The return type can also be an int or a double. And if you don't want to output anything, then it can just be written as void. Next, we see the word explosion. This is just the name given to the method. You can call your method whatever you want. Call it make a planet or destroy the universe or anything you like. Inside the double brackets next to the name of your function, you can list the parameters of your method. These are the variables that you need to take in in order for the method to work. For our method called explosion, we don't need parameters. However, there may be a time when you need to take in int planet radius or int planet name. We can create an instance using the new keyword in Java. The syntax is as follows. Class name, name of instance equals new class name. For example, if you want to create a new planet in the solar system, you would say Now that you know how to create an instance and how a method works, try our exercise number three.